Joomla Motors to jQuery project is carried out under the Google Sum of Code program in year 2013 and it is mentored by Jensen Tony and Roberto Segura. As you can see by the project title, it's mainly about JavaScript modifications in Joomla. If you look closely to the above image, right now Joomla has more than 10% of its code written using JavaScript. And before this project, majority of this JavaScript code is written using Motul's JavaScript library. In addition, there are very few libraries written using jQuery and native JavaScript code. So, as you have seen in the previous slide, Joomla and Motul's has a strong relation. This was started with Joomla version 1.6 where it introduced Motul's to its code base. Since then, most of these libraries and inline code is written using Motools as a base foundation. So you might be wondering, why do we need uh, to remove Motools? And I think it's quite obvious since you all know jQuery became popular among web developers with its clear syntax and various plugin support. And in the case of Joomla, it started using jQuery as a core library from uh, Joomla version 3.0 when it decided to use Twitter Bootstrap framework which itself depend on jQuery. Although this introduced lot of benefits uh, to the Joomla CMS, jQuery cause conflicts with Joomla uh, Motul's uh, functionality adding more challenges for uh, developers when writing JavaScript code. So it became a problem to keep Motul's and jQuery side by side which ultimately led to the uh, decision to minimize Motul's dependencies from its uh, core code base. I hope you all got the background information about the project. So let's find out what this project really is. So this project mainly focus on uh, minimizing Motul's dependencies from its code base and uh, replace them with jQuery and uh, native JavaScript code. If you are end user of Joomla, you might not find any uh, new features uh, out of uh, this project. But uh, since it's more or less uh, transparent to the end user. So under this project, initially the Motul's dependent JavaScript code is uh, identified and uh, classified based on its dependencies. Then Motul's dependent libraries and inline JavaScript code were written using jQuery and native JavaScript to keep the functional intact. This had to be done keeping the backward compatibility also taken into consideration to support for extensions and uh, for possible ongoing work which was a major challenge. Out of this core project scope, most of these libraries uh, were rewritten improving its code quality and uh, fixing performance bottleneck. A very good example is the performance improvement in uh, validation JS to support thousands of input validations without freezing the user interface with jQuery and improved caching and uh, writing fast queries. If I put more insight to the project, identification of Motul's usage was really a challenge since, since it used uh, prototype inheritance with a document object model for most of its functionality. For example, when I first see document.id method, I was really confused whether it's a native method or not. And above all, it is the class constructor of Motul's uh, that makes it really difficult to remove Motul's dependency, which acted as the uh, foundation for most of the libraries written using Motul's. Another challenge was the uh, usage of uh, Motul's extensions like Motul's Mom that added number of new libraries that needed to be rewritten. So with this uh, project, uh, although it's uh, transparent to the end user, developers get benefits uh, when writing JavaScript code. It minimizes the conflicts when using dollar variable which is used in both Motul's and uh, jQuery. And now most of these uh, JavaScript code is uniform and uh, have less dependence so which uh, ultimately benefits the developers. And above all, now you have a reason to use uh, jQuery as web developers 
for extension development since it uh, upcoming in upcoming releases possibly modules will be completely removed from joomla core so thank you for listening to this video and if you need more information about this project and related stuff you can find me in linkedin using the above link thank you